things about my school in Japan that could send Americans into a coma. We all had to change from outdoor to indoor shoes as soon as we entered the school, and no, I never saw any love note confessions in the shoe cubbies. Also, you don't know clean until you've been to a Japanese school because these kids clean the school from top to bottom every single day. They also serve themselves lunch and clean their own trays. And being this clean also means every time you're feeling even just a bit under the weather, you are expected to wear a mask. But the most restrictive rule was that girls could either have a bob or their hair in a low pony, not a high pony. And apparently it's because every student had to bike to school and only low ponytails would fit in their helmets. Though I'll let you guys decide if that was the real reason. Another big one was that no students were allowed to wear makeup or have piercings. But the one that really sent me spiraling was that they always left the windows and doors open and there was no heating or cooling in the halls. So I had to walk around in a coat for about half the year. But the worst one had to be some of the English and the posters that they put up without my approval. 